you lovely lot welcome back to the channel my hair looks really wild today it's like so curly i've just like washed and blow dried and curled it so it's a bit wild but today's video is all about a husky painting so it's a paint with me husky edition um i got commissioned to do these painting the other day and i thought you know what i'm gonna put them all on my channel from now on pretty much unless they're like a surprise gift so i've mocked it up on my ipad this is what it's going to look like if it wants to hello focus there you go this is what it's going to look like i've edited the portrait onto another background that she had from another photograph so we're going to crack on with that axel is currently outside chasing a stick so if i have any clips of that i'll add them in but he looks very cute right now but i have to keep an eye on him while i'm filming because he'll like bugger off somewhere so i'll try and look out the window <laughs> But yes, I already started drafting it out. It's like quarter past 11 now. I've responded to emails this morning. So now the rest of my day, I can pretty much crack on with this, edit some content to go up and that is my Friday. So I hope you've all had a good week and yes, let's go. I needed a quick cookie break before we got started. I'm starving. It's like too early for lunch. <laughs> okay, so. So I've already said, I've sketched it out already, so it looks a little bit jacked at the moment, but they always do when I sketch them out. To begin with, I did a bit of prep on this canvas before, because um, they wasn't quite taut enough, so if I show you one that I've not touched yet. So it looks fine to begin with, but it's just a little bit flimsy um, when I started to draw on it. So what I do is, if you just get some... Um, water on a clean paintbrush and I really douse the back of it and I let it dry it seems to go a lot more tough I think the fibers dry a bit stronger so yeah you don't get a flimsy canvas the brand of colors I'm using today is the Peebo studio acrylics um, I bought these the other day as like a big set I don't know if I can show you I bought these the other day as a big set really like them I used them for a commission I just finished and yeah, the bigger my business grows, the more I'm going to be investing in better brands. And I'd like all of my canvases to be like hand stretched and custom sized. But yeah, for now, this is what we're working with as I'm growing my business. And all my commissions have been good so far. So all good reviews around. So yeah, let's crack on. So I'm starting off by putting a bit of a wash over the canvas. This is just so um, I'm not staring at a big white blank canvas and it looks really daunting so yes now i'm going to wait for that to dry probably go over some of the pencil marks a little bit because it's um rubbed them out a tiny bit and then i'm going to start on the ears i've jumped ahead a little bit because um i got carried away but this is the actual color of the dog however i've put like really warm tones down underneath and that's because if you actually look at the tips of the fur they've got that warm edge to them so when i then layer up all of the different colors you'll still see some of that warmth come through so i'm going to crack on with that now and i'll catch up with you in a bit we've jumped forward quite a bit with all of the body but it's actually not that much all i've done is put like one layer on top i've just segregated the colors because i was getting a bit confused like where the lines were but yeah I'm, that's what i've done so far and i'm just gonna keep going with it and now i'm using literally the tiniest brush when it wants to focus hold on there we go i'm using the tiniest brush in the world and it's brilliant for fur this is the Pro Arte Series 60 Miniature 10 0, if that means anything to anybody. This from Hobbycraft. So, yeah, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna go for like a medium brown all over the ears, and I'll check back in with you in a bit. <laughs> I 
I'm back. Uh, so it's another day in the studio. I'm like gonna get confused soon because I'm filming this video and another video at the same time. So that's why I'm in the same outfit. But yeah, I'm carrying on with the husky painting today. I did make a little bit of progress. I was getting a little bit like unsure um, if I was doing it okay but i think i'm quite happy with it now I'll show you that now and we'll crack on so this is the fur at the top which i'm quite happy with and then here i've started putting in all of the definition and then i'm going to add the lighter strokes as well and doing the same for the chest so this is where we're at right now Monday morning it's now quarter to 12 and I'm gonna finish this painting so Axel's actually got him blah, blah. Axel's actually being groomed at one o'clock so I've got 45 minutes and I just want to do a nice blur of color and then I'll go in a little bit more with the details for the background I'm going to show you a close-up of what this little guy looks like now um I'm very pleased with it I just think he looks really sweet I think it's because the dog is so cute <laughs> like if it was an ugly dog I'd be like oh yeah it's cute but no this is actually really sweet let me show you isn't it so far I used a white paint pen to get all of the little hairs but yeah this is what it looks like now I'm not on my I'm not on the usual easel because this is quite small and I'm using a lot of tiny little colours, um, I just fancied being at my desk. Whereas with the bigger paints, I love standing up and doing them, so I like using that one. But yeah, for this one, it was just sweet to do my little tabletop easel. I don't really use it that often, but I've really enjoyed it for this piece. I had to really, really focus um, on all of the hairs and things around the ears, so it was just easier for me. Right, the background's on. <laughs> Looks like a two-year-old did it, but it always does when I just do like a wash and a base of colour, um, as you can see on there. That's it now. I'm going to add a load of definition into the sky with like a load of clouds and things. And then um, I'm going to move on probably to the fence area. I've just signed it and I'm gonna varnish now so this has been dried this has been drying for over 24 hours now so it's absolutely fine I'm gonna use the Winsor & Newton satin varnish today and I have a new brush which is always always a good thing so these are just like gonna be varnishing brushes now um, to try and keep everything nice and clean so yeah I'm gonna crack on with that so here is the piece all complete and framed up so we have this sweetest little husky ever i routed the inner edge of the frame we painted it white it's got a satin furniture varnish on it um and then i've put d-rings on the back it won't have this tape so what i like to do on the back of my paintings is i've got um a brown craft tape and i put a piece of brown paper as well on the back so everything looks super neat and tidy yes here it is i'm proud of this one i've never painted a dog before so yeah it was really nice to do so i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more paintings like this and more videos like this make sure you hit subscribe because the bigger this account gets the better the paintings get bye